Hello, this is John from CaveOfProgramming.com and welcome to the Cave of Programming Premium Java GUI Swing Programming Tutorial Series. And in this series of, at the moment, 86 tutorials, we're going to be covering um, GUI programming in Java Swing pretty much from scratch. Well, absolutely from scratch, all the way to some really advanced topics. So as long as you know some, um, some Java, you should be able to follow this series of tutorials. Now, um, in this series, we're going to look at everything from creating database-driven applications like this one here, and we're going to take a look at JDBC connecting to databases, um, all the way to um, creating uh, simple games. So we're going to look at creating applets as well that you can run in a browser and how you handle collision detection and animation and that kind of thing. And we're going to look at basically um, pretty much all the... Um, swing user interface widgets that you can use combo boxes and trees and tab panes and dialog boxes the whole lot and this series of tutorials is structured in such a way that um, if you want to know a particular topic you can just look at that particular tutorial and hopefully it will tell you what you want to know but if you also on the other hand want a structured kind of introduction to swing programming then you can work through the tutorials one by one because they do follow on one from the other and will systematically build um, complete programs, two complete programs in this series and we'll be talking about how to structure your code and we'll be talking about model view controller and all, this, all these kinds of topics that you'll need to successfully build um, Swing applications and I'll also touch on using um, the Visual Designer in case you want to design your applications visually but with Swing, you really kind of need to know what you're doing anyway in terms of code. And for that reason, most of the tutorials are going to be coding stuff by hand. And we're going to really dig into the underlying concepts and see how Swing works. Um, in this um, introductory tutorial, I'm just going to show you a few useful resources that you might want to know. I'm just going to tell you before that um, uh, very quickly a bit about my background. I've been a software developer and now a trainer for... Um, I don't know, around 15, uh, 14, 15 years now. And I've worked for places like uh, CSC, uh, ProQuest, SPSS, AT&T, a uh, whole bunch of acronyms. And in this series of tutorials, I'm going to share with you um, pretty much everything that I know about Swing programming. So hopefully you'll be able to successfully create your own Swing programs. And even if you want to go on to doing other kinds of user interface design using different technologies, then um, knowing how to use Swing will stand you in good stead because a, a lot of the concepts that you find in Swing are kind of general software development concepts that um, are used in other kind of visual GUI systems. Everything that we're going to be using in this series of tutorials is free and, and that includes um, Eclipse, the Eclipse IDE for Java developers, which is a free download it's completely free to use and it's pretty much the industry standard. But if you want to use a different IDE like NetBeans or IntelliJ IDEA, then you'll find the stuff that you learn here um, very, very trans transferable. You'll have no problem um, doing this stuff in a different IDE. And we're going to look at this Window Builder Pro um, GUI designer, which is a plugin to Eclipse, but you can also use you know, NetBeans, for example. Um, and now on to some useful resources um, for this series of tutorials. Um, if you go to Google um, and you search for Window um, Window Builder Pro, that's actually um, this is a product for visually designing stuff that was uh, purchased by Google, I think, and released as a, a free designer. So you can find details on that here as an Eclipse plugin, um, and that's that's very nice to use. Although you will, as I say, want to learn uh, how to create Swing. Um, swing components, swing um, applications by hand as well to really successfully use um, the um, visual designer. And if you search for Eclipse IDE for Java developers, that will get you a link to the IDE that we'll be using throughout this series of tutorials. IDE is integrated development environment, of course. Um, and uh, some more useful resources are if you search for visual guide swing components then here you'll get a link to all the different visual swing components you can use 
and you get um, example code if you click on any one of them. And in this series of tutorials, we'll be covering some tips and tricks that you might not find here. But um, there's also uh, really a hell of a lot of stuff um, here in these um, in these examples that, for reasons of time, I haven't covered in the tutorials. So this is a really good uh, resource to use. And you'll probably also want the visual guide for to Swing layouts because um, to arrange components in Swing, you use layout managers and this shows you each one visually and again you can click on the links to get example code and finally you will want to use the API documents possibly um, you may want to refer to um, particular um, API documents in Java and Swing is actually the user interface toolkit that's built into Java so if for example you type J combo box combo box uh, Java 7 and click on this link here you can find all the different methods and all the different things you can do with the combo box and a lot of people are intimidated by this documentation but um, it is really useful once you have a basic idea um, of knowing what you're doing and it gives you all the different methods you can use okay so that's it for um, this uh, introduction and in the next tutorial we're going to get on to designing our first hello world swing program so join me again then and until next time, happy coding.